right, here we go again. Pattern-collections.com is where I start. I scroll down to Pattern Focus to get today's pattern. Scroll down Pattern Focus page till I get to today, which is going to be this one, Embezzled. Oh my. I'm going to have to go find my pencils to do a gem. That's for darn sure. It's it's definitely is a gem one. Hang on a second. Let me get over here to this box. I put my pencils away. Yep, there we go. Get my pencils out. Alrighty. So apparently embezzled is by Jane Nichols and it is clearly a bezel for a gem. Absolutely. And I really like that there's a nice good sample of a gem here that I can try to emulate. I love that. That's that's perfect. Okay. So, step number one, we're gonna do a pencil line. Whenever, whenever you come to a pattern and the step out has a green, the green is pencil. The first step in, in red is pen, and then, um, then the red step turns into the black, you know, that's the existing, and then another red step is more pen. But Pencil is is our friend here and it appears Hmm That's interesting that in step two the pencil is dashed in step one the pencil is solid and I'm not sure Why It's dashed. Is there a reason that would make? No, doesn't make any difference. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start with a pencil line. I'm going to do this sort of diagonal with these little scoopy. Can you see how that is? It's a diagonal and then on this side there's a little lump and a filled in spot and a lump and a filled in spot. So it almost looks like an S, but it's not really an S. It's more of a diagonal first, and then this is added to it. And then we're going to connect this top of the scoop kind of coming around to the bottom of the next scoop. That's more of a curve, sort of cadent-like. And then number four, we're going to fill in from that to there, that to there, like that. And then number five, we're actually gonna put another circle inside this shape. And then that creates a space for your gem. And I just thought that you could actually make this a hollow thing and put another one going behind there you could do that as well sort of like a donut uh, but I think I'm going to do it just like this because it's always fun to practice doing gems so that's what we're going to do and I'm just going to follow this just as it is so I'm going to make a nice big Circular shape on my tile. I'm just going to do one big one. And then inside that, I'm going to do another circular shape, like so. That's my pencil line. So now I want Light diagonal all the way around, right? Let me 
you just look just to make sure we're just going to go around in this manner suppose you could be really precise about it and measure out your distances so that you have equal stuff because I can see that these are not as equal distant as those but I don't really care just so you know I don't really care okay so I'm gonna make a little scoop and I like that on the tops of each of these let me zoom in Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, wrong way I always go the wrong way first okay and then on the bottom it goes the other way. So the scoop's gonna go this way and that way. Like that. So up and around like this. And up and around like that. Like so and like so. Just making little, little scoops, little soup spoons. They're like, they're like little ladles. Just like that. Something like that. Okay. Then, next step is to go from one of these to one of those. So I'm going to come, I'm going to follow that scoopy shape and do like that. Top of this scoop to the bottom of that scoop. Like so. Fill those in if we need to. Top of this scoop to the bottom of that scoop. Turn your page to make it easier on you. that and like this like that like that and like that okay let me zoom out a little bit and a little bit close there you go that's the general idea here and then we're going to go from here, this part of the scoopy thing, out to there like that. We're just going to follow those around in our circle. that and then we're going to do that going the other way from under here to there
That's pretty awesome. I love it. And then we're going to put a circle inside the circle. Like so. And that's where we're going to put our little gem. And I think I might just add a little embellishment right here just because. I'm thinking what color should my gem be? I like this green one that they show here, but I also like when I did those other gems the other day, this seems to be a gem week. When I did these the other day, I really kind of like this amber color one or this purple one. So I'm just kind of deciding what what color of a gem do I want. Okay, so now I want to just erase. Where'd my eraser go? There it is. I want to erase all that pencil mark. wondering if I might want to yeah Yeah, okay, hang on a second. I'm going to, I'm just thinking. Thinking out loud. I like you guys to, to know what I'm thinking. Sharpen my pencil. Okay. So, the way I see this is I see see these on top these triangles on top of this like ring so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna put the shading I'm trying to decide how to shade because how I shade the the ring will determine where is the sun coming from, where is my light source for my gem. The first thing I'm going to do is this, this little bit of overlap to establish that this ring thing is under these Triangles. Triangles are like wrapping around the ring. Like that. Okay. And then... I'm 
I'm going to put a mark here. That's where my light source is. My light source is going this way. So if my light source is going that way, this will be light and this will be a little shaded right there in this tip, right? If this is a curved object and it might have just a little bit of shading right here, but more here. So I'm just going to do just a teeny tiny bit of shading there and more there. Same thing with here. This side will be actually darker. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Well, maybe. No. No, not if that's coming on the top. Wrong. Wrong thought process. Let's erase. That's why you have an eraser. Okay this side actually needs to be darker on each of those okay so my lights coming here there's going to be less shading here on this side and more on this side so this is going to be the bigger shading here and it's going to get smaller as it goes around to the top and small to bigger as it goes around and this is bigger to smaller as it goes around okay and then on this side is where and this side has the more shading this side has the more shading Always go back and add sh shading. You just need to remember to go back then and and smudge it. So I want just the tiniest bit of shading on this side. And then as it comes around, it gets a little bit bigger and deeper on this side. And then back to skinny, like that. And then the opposite on this side, it's more shading on this part and less there, like that. Right, rightio. I think if I would do this again, I would make these swoopy bits more swoopy. And maybe I can add that. Oh, I can. I can add that more swoopy. I like it more swoopy. Just a little bit. See how that changes it just, just slightly? Yeah. Okay, it needed to be more swoopy. Like that. On the inside is not some not so uh concerning. 
but the outside needed to be more swoopy and I missed I missed going around right there. Anytime you see your pencil mark um, that looks less like shading and more like just a straight line from a pencil, you need to make sure you go back and blend it. All right, so my sunlight is here, which means my gem is going to be lighter in tone here and darkest on this side, except for right around the edge, it's going to be dark. So what did I decide? I think I decided purples. So, but I like having the blues in with the purples. Um, violet blue and this one. Okay, so I'm using Prismacolor Premier pencils. My light blue is called True Blue. That's this one. That's where I'm going to start. I'm just going to do the whole thing very, very lightly in this True Blue, just so that every spot has some color and I'm going to do little circles and I don't know if I want that kind of veining thing I wasn't too happy with that on my other ones so I think I'm not going to have it okay so now the next color I'm going to do is called um, violet parma violet And I actually should have left some, some white there, just a little bit. So I'm going to erase just a little bit right here. I needed to keep a white spot and I forgot. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you see that there's a white spot there? Probably not. Okay, but you will when I get done with the violet. Okay, so the violet, the next one is the violet. And I'm gonna just gently do the next color. Like so. And near the edges, I'm going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to turn it. Am I still in view? No. See, I zoomed in too much. When I zoom in too much, it's really easy to get out of frame. Try really hard not to do that for you. There we go. Just, I really, it would be lovely to be able to do an opal. I have got this little opal ring. I love this opal, but I'm not sure I know how to do an opal. It has some green in it. And it actually has a little tiny bit of pink. I wonder if I can do that. I've never tried that. So, I mean, I never really tried much in the way of gems, but I'm going to I'm going to add a teeny bit of green. Just a teeny bit. And a teeny bit of pink. I don't know if that's just going to make mud. I hope not.
I don't know. That might be making mud. <laughs> Trying not to make mud. All right, let's go back to my blues. All right, so then my next one is going to be violet blue. I like that. Well, that color's turning out nice. Let me add more of this purple. This light purple. I guess the trick to this is layers and patience. <clears throat> Pinky, a little more pink in there. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. It's coming along. It just needs layers, I guess. So then I'm going to use my darkest one is going to be violet blue. I'm going to do that right up against the, the bezel. darkest spots. And then I'm going to put a little cast of purple down here where where the gem would would be shining white onto the that thing the in the bezel right is that correct i don't know people i just don't know i feel like it needs to be darker yet but i want to do it with this other purple color not that dark blue or that darker blue purple i want more of this lighty purple pinky purple Okay, I like that. That's that's becoming really pretty. I like it. Okay. Don't overdo. Don't overdo. Okay, and then what I'm thinking, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking I want... that golden color here. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. I'm 
probably should have left some white. Okay, I'm going to have to come back and erase a little bit, but that's okay. Because I'm going to have to figure out where I want the light. Okay, and then where do I want the light? I want the light. I'm going to make my, my eraser sort of a pointier shape. I want the light along here. Now I want another color of orange. Just slightly. So another one of these is going to be fiddly. Layers, soft layers. Okay, so far so good, I think so. Now I need that kind of a, I don't know what color it is, it's called. Goldenrod, it needs to be sharpened though, pardon me. may have to get out of brown to do what I want. You guys see? I hope you can see. I'm having fun. Just, I got all quiet. I do that when I'm having fun. Okay. So far, so good. I didn't put any in here. I need 
need to put some down in there. I think I'm going to need the maybe the slightest bit of bright orange. But I don't want a lot. Right along the edge. Don't overdo. That. Okay. And then I want a brown. But which brown do I want? Not that one. That one's kind of red. Terracotta one. sharpening. Okay, so I want that in here. And ever so slightly on the edge. Yep, that's what I want. Okay. So this one is um, Sienna Brown. For anyone who cares about color. All about the layers, apparently. Oops. That's coming out really cool. Oh, I like it. So now I've got sort of this bronzy thing happening. I'm going to erase my indicator of direction. Get rid of that. And I'm going to sign because I forgot to do that. Who oh, bother. Okay, so this is embezzled. So which way do I want it to live? Do like it with the okay? Bezeled, and then I need a little bit of highlight. I'm going to get out my pen that I enjoy most for decorating is Decorees by Sakura. It's kind of like a gel pen, but it's like a little bit thicker. I really like it. Let me just get it started over here. And then this is where this light is hitting. Just like that. And maybe a little bit of, of sparkle on a couple of places where it's like shining, but not 
Not a lot, it just needs a little reflection. Like, like so. Some reflected light. Do I need that? No, I don't need that. Okay. Just like that. Done. Just a couple of little spots. Oh, I blew it right off the page. Just blowing on that so that my pen dries up a little bit. You guys can, I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see. Oh, if it'll focus. Come on, focus. There we go. See, it's layers. I used these four of the blue purples. I used Uh, this one, this one, I used all of these of the pink, oops, you're a little close, you can't see those, of the pinks and oranges, and then I used this one brown, what did I do with it? This one. So it's all about the layers. Those are all the ones I used. There you go. Now you can see them all. Those are the colors I used to make that. Now, it wouldn't look like that at all if I'd pressed hard and used the color like straight out as deep as it can be. It, you, you need to, um, for sure, work on um, just doing super, super light layers and go over and over and over until you get the color that you're looking for. Um, it's a little bit more vibrant than what you can see on the screen. I don't know if lighting will make a difference. Let me get the light a little closer. There we go. Can you tell that it's, it's just a little bit more vibrant than you can see on the screen? get it closer to the light you can't really see you cannot see the color properly but it is it is a little bit brighter than that anyway I think it came out really good I totally enjoyed myself if this was a long video and I'm sorry about that so for those of you who stuck through me to the end I appreciate it um, you guys go out and have a really great day. Do something nice for someone today. Uh, you know, it'll make their world better. It'll make your world better. It'll make the whole world better. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. We'll see what we can come up with tomorrow. Bye-bye.